and is basically saying that I am, because he's an ex-drug addict, he knows what drug addicts look like, and obviously I'm a drug addict. So first, Bobby Burns goes out there and starts hating on Shane Dawson, and now he's coming after me? But don't worry everybody, in this video I'm gonna teach you some very important lessons in always being mindful about what you say and how to cover your own ass. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. But throughout this video, I want you to remember that intro. What I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So it's been a couple months since Bobby Burns has released a video. I follow him on Instagram. I saw he was making a, buddy, uh, a video with his brother, Nate. I'm like, oh snap, that's pretty cool. And then I got tweeted at and I got some comments on my videos and they said, hey, Bobby Burns is talking about you in his new video. I'm like, what? And then somebody else tweeted out and said that they're not happy with Bobby Burns for calling me out. I'm like, wait, what's going on here? Cause I'm a pretty cool dude, right? And I watched the video and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. But there's some very important lessons to be learned here. So I'm gonna show you a quick clip from the video that Bobby Burns and Nathan Burns just released called Clearing Things Up. There's a YouTuber, The Rewired Soul. This guy. And he has made basically his channel by making videos on me. He made a video called Please Stop Enabling Bobby Burns, which has 163,000 views. And in this video, he basically says, no, not basically, he actually says, you'd have to be a fucking idiot to believe that I wasn't under the influence of drugs when I wrecked my car. And is basically saying that I am, because he's an ex-drug addict, he knows what drug addicts look like, and obviously I'm a drug addict. So yeah, Bobby Burns and Nathan are kind of upset because I called him a drug addict and you're not supposed to diagnose people, and they reference Katie Morton and what happened with Shane Dawson. There's the difference in someone who maybe is a professional in something, talking with someone, interviewing them, getting information based off of that, and someone watching an entertainer's content, making a diagnosis of their mental state based off of, and like the real reason he's all this shit. Like, and there was already backlash from Shane's thing of where they brought the lady who was like watching Jake. But, I was curious, I'm like, huh, that doesn't sound like me. I made this video a couple months ago, but that doesn't sound like something I would do. So I went back and I rewatched that video and here's what I actually said. So before I get started, here's a disclaimer that a lot of people are going to disregard and leave angry comments anyways, but figured I'd do it anyways. So first thing is, I'm glad that Bobby is safe. Um, I'm happy for him. I almost died multiple times. And yeah, I'm glad that he's safe. Second thing is, I am not saying that Bobby is a drug addict or alcoholic. I am not saying that Bobby is a drug addict or alcoholic. I am not saying that Bobby is a drug addict or alcoholic. I'm going to talk a little bit about self-medicating though. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you always put disclaimers in your videos, even though you know nobody's gonna pay attention to them either. Ah, all right? You guys, I am very careful with what I say. All right, very, very careful. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about my channel and what it's, you know, what it's all about and everything because um, knowing that Bobby saw this, I do wanna clear some stuff up. Bobby, if you watch this, hopefully it clears some stuff up because no bad blood between us, brother. I love you, baby. But anyways, so this, I knew for a fact, I knew for a fact that I didn't say Bobby Burns was a drug addict because I never do that, all right? Like I never do that unless somebody is a self-admitted drug addict or alcoholic. Here's why, when I got sober, like the first thing you do, a lot of people, not everybody, what a lot of people do is when they first get sober, they wanna run around diagnosing everybody as drug addicts and alcoholics. They wanna go tell their mom, oh mom, you're an alcoholic. They wanna go tell their brother, oh, you're a drug addict. They wanna go tell their friends and their aunts and stuff. And that is the worst thing that you could do. In fact, when working in addiction treatment, I always tell people, do not do this. Do not do this because I have seen so many people get out of rehab, run back home, and think that they could just diagnose the world as drug addicts and alcoholics, and most of the time it makes people pretty pissed off. I will say, what bums me out is Bobby Burns being a fellow creator, he knows the, 
the plight that is, you know, what we go through when people hear one thing, even though we say another. And that kind of bums me out. But anyways, I always make sure to tell people, like, don't run around diagnosing anybody. Like, my videos are for you, they're about you. I'm not trying to teach you about other people. I'm trying to teach you how to deal with other people. That's why I always tell you that it's a lot easier for you to fix you than it is to fix the rest of the world, right? So my mom and I, we actually just made a video because she's a professional psychologist. We made a video over on her channel that I hope you all check out. It's about dysfunctional family roles. And I actually say the same thing in her video. Now, now guys this isn't a hundred percent this is just statistically most of the time yeah so, so yeah and as we're going through this like try to see like what role you might be playing or what roles other people in your family might be playing real quick real quick because something i learned like when i got like sober and like when i was like working on my mm -hmm. mental health like for me it's important to not point your finger and say oh oh you're the hero you're the scapegoat you're this like yeah is that a yeah, bad idea yeah i tell them guys guys what is your intent on doing that is it to hurt them <laughs> yeah you know and most of the time it is to hurt them right yeah. so yeah the more you learn about mental health or even addiction don't run around just making it rain diagnoses on people that's not what you do all right something i always tell you is if you can relate to any of these symptoms go see a professional go see somebody who can diagnose you like i always tell you the worst thing that you can do is try to diagnose yourself online like that makes you anxious it makes you crazy and all of that so what i was actually talking about in that video is that and what another thing that bobby kind of like twisted my words on was we'd have to be fools even though he said effing idiots, but we'd have to be fools to not think that he was under the influence. And I actually talked about this after he did his interview on that other channel, but there were, there were Instagram stories of him out partying hours before it happened. He was wearing the same thing when he got in his wreck. And then in the interview, he said he just accidentally popped it out of gear. And I mentioned that that's not something that normal people do. Now, here's the thing that I've also talked about too. I've also said like, I don't care if people smoke weed. I have voted to legalize marijuana here in Nevada. Everywhere I go, it smells like weed. If you could smoke weed and not become addicted, do you, all right? Same thing with alcohol. If you could drink alcohol and not become addicted, do your thing, boo. Just be smart and don't screw up and don't become dependent on it. Now, what is my channel about? What is it? Like, I haven't mentioned this in a video before, but the idea I kind of got for the pivot of my channel that I made um, earlier this year was channels that I absolutely love, like Wisecrack, okay? Wisecrack is a channel, for those of you who haven't watched it, what they do is they take TV shows, they take movies, and other things from pop culture, and they use those as a reference to teach you about philosophy. And it's absolutely genius. Like I'm a big philosophy nerd and I absolutely love what they're doing over there, right? Like they're taking like Marvel movies or they're taking like Rick and Morty or they've done like BoJack Horseman. It's an awesome channel. If you're into philosophy, go over to Wisecrack and nerd out on their videos. But they're using that to give you some context to teach you about philosophy, right? And then there's another channel called Charisma On Command, okay? Charisma On Command is a channel that's trying to teach you to be a little bit more outgoing, more sociable. If you have social anxiety, by the way, go watch Charisma On Command. But Charisma On Command actually started to blow up when they started taking other um, people and using that as a point of reference to teach people how to be more charismatic. So I was like, huh, that's a really good idea. I wonder if I could do that for mental health. Now, some people think that, you know, me talking about YouTubers is a little, you know, a little off, but like, Everybody else that they're talking about, like when they talk about people, like Jordan Peterson, they talk about on Charisma on Command, they talk about uh, Jimmy Fallon, they talk about other celebrities. What's the difference? YouTubers are the new celebrities. So that's what I'm trying to do with my, my mental health channel is use things as a point of reference. But I always say this video isn't necessarily about the YouTuber, it is, a, it is for you, okay? Now, when I do have opinions or even suggestions about YouTubers, it's when there's a series of evidence, all right? I think Nathan brought up a really good point, um, but I also kind of disagree. He talked about how if you make a video that you're depressed and then you don't upload for two weeks, people think that you're still depressed in those two weeks. I talked about this in my Drew Monson video. For some reason, we think that people shouldn't worry about us, but like, people are going to worry about us, especially when we are, you know, 
possibly spiraling out of control, right? And like Bobby, like if you're watching this or anybody who has followed Bobby, Bobby has given people plenty of reasons to worry about him. Yes, he talked about his mental health. Then he started doing this stuff on Instagram. Then he get in, gets into a car wreck. Then he breaks up with his girlfriend. Like people are seeing this. And I guess I'll just say it real quick. I've talked about it a million times before. And I know Bobby and Nathan, they're much younger, but this is for every aspiring YouTuber out there. Like, what do you think's gonna happen when you get big? Like, do you think that there's gonna be less pressure? <laughs> I'm reading this new book right now, and they, the, the great line in there, one of the great lines was, increased levels bring new devils, right? And it's true, it's true. The, the higher we raise up in that good old social hierarchy, the more pressures they are. That's why I try to teach you guys that money or subscribers or whatever it is will not guarantee your happiness. You will just have new stresses that you have to deal with. The other thing that kind of upsets me is when Bobby listed the different titles that I have for my videos, it seems like he judged my videos based on titles, which is kind of silly to me because one of Bobby's most popular videos is about YouTuber manipulation in which he made a follow-up video when he was explaining how we do things to invoke some kind of emotion to get you to feel something, right? And it's happened enough times where I realized people have pulled some stuff from my video and inferred some things that I was not meaning to say. First off, I'd like to say that just because someone is manipulating something, that does not mean that that manipulation is inherently negative. I'm manipulating this chair. Look at that, I'm manipulating. And as a film creator, Bobby clearly understands that. I actually talked about that in my Jarvis Johnson video. I talked about that in a David Dobrik video as well. That's what we're doing here as creators is to try to invoke some kind of emotion, typically a click, all right? So it kind of bums me out that Bobby doesn't see those connections, but he said he's totally willing to talk to anybody. And like, Bobby, if you see this, I'm down to chat sometime, like I said. Like, no, actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end the video by saying this. Like, I'm super proud of Bobby. I'm so proud of Bobby. I talked about this in my video about like, Bobby's like quote unquote identity crisis explained. Like, I'm really proud of Bobby for finding his own way and finding what makes him happy. Like, I keep trying to teach you guys to quit caring so much what people think. And the first part of this video, when they weren't talking about me, like I was loving it. I was loving how they were looking at the comments because I can relate to that. Like, they're just laughing at it because a lot of you who are commenting and you think you know about our lives and stuff, you don't. Commentators don't know about these people's lives and stuff, except for what's put out there, you know? But like, the fact that Bobby has made this shift from you know, talking about movies, to commenting on YouTubers, to trying to do whatever it was with his new show in Los Angeles, to going towards music. Like, good for you, dude. Good for you, all right? Like, I hope everybody can take that lesson from Bobby Burns, because I keep talking to you guys about like, how many people like, they, they get stuck in this place where they're trying to like, make their family happy or their friends happy, or oh, I'm gonna do this because then more people will think this about me, right? We're doing so many things to try to get a feeling from other people, but Bobby has found what he's truly passionate about and making him happy, and maybe it will make him happy forever. That's cool too, the dude is young. Right? But anyways, like, I just wanted to, uh, to talk about this a little bit, but again, you guys, I'm very, very careful with the way I choose my words. And when I go through the editing process, I make double sure that I'm careful with my words. So I will never, ever, ever diagnose somebody, especially as a drug addict, all right? And if you like this video, you know what? Bobby, if you're watching this, I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, and I know you're like the Instagram dude, so help me figure out a way to get 10,000 followers on Instagram. All I wanna do is let people swipe up. Is that too much to ask, Bobby? I don't think it is, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I have some really cool, exciting stuff coming up in 2019. So if you'd like to become a patron, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.